The question is, who poses the biggest threat? Much talk in the United States about a better relationship with Iran. What do you think of that? Uh, what do you think of the fact that Iraq seems to have won the day over inspection and monitoring of their nuclear, biological, chemical programs? Two enemies of Israel pose much more of a threat than anything the Palestinians might do. Well, the fact that you might die of malaria doesn't mean that you want to die of pneumonia. We have two threats. One of them, uh, you're quite right, uh, we focus on is beyond the horizon in the form of these rogue regimes like Iraq or Iran that are feverishly arming themselves with uh, uh, ballistic weapon uh, missiles or uh, uh, unconventional weapons, biological or atomic warheads, which are trying to secure. And that is a grave danger for the entire world. There's no question about that. And I've been trying to alert the world to that danger, uh, including the flow of technology, nuclear technology, and ballistic technology from Russia. And I've been trying to alert the world to that danger. And I've been trying to alert the world to that danger. Understand my concern with the Palestinian state. It is not because I want to govern the Palestinians. We don't want to do it. We don't do it. They govern themselves. It is my view that they should have all the powers for self-rule to govern their lives, but none of the powers to threaten our lives. And if you think about it, and you ask yourself, what kind of powers are we concerned with? Well, we don't want there to be a Palestinian uh, Hamas haven right next to us. Or for that matter, what if uh, this Palestinian entity makes a pact with Saddam Hussein and brings Iraqi troops on the hills above Tel Aviv? What if he brings in stinger missiles that could take down the aircraft that you uh, landed in on Tel Aviv airport? That's the end of Israel.